<laughs> we're, we're actually Hi. processing. We're still a interviewing question. right now. <laughs> yeah, so we're like. That's when you know you were part of a good film. Really. Yeah, you still I mean, want to talk about it. it. It's true. We we do. We are still very intrigued by these people. And what they've taught us. <laughs> well, I feel like I was living under a rock because I never heard of JT. Like I, I heard about this author who kind of pulled off this elaborate hoax, but I never knew anything. If it was outside of like Tolkien or J.K. Rowling, I was like, ah, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. But knowing that this existed, did you guys know? I did not, no. I knew about the novels. I'd heard of uh, The Heart is Deceitful Above All Things, maybe Sarah, but um, J.T. Leroy as J.T. Leroy, no. I had no idea. Same, yeah. So the introduction was the script, and then, of course, the documentary, and yeah. knowing Savannah, and having Savannah with us for the whole journey. Yeah, but then I was like, I can't believe I'd never heard of this. This is the most outlandish thing I've ever heard. Well, it's crazy how JT kind of infiltrated the, the celebrity world. You know, at one point it feels like he's as big as Warhol in terms of like getting with everyone. What was it about him you think kind of spellbound people? Because, you know, they're after, they didn't want to just know the author, you know, they, 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 they needed someone to be that author. Mm. Um, I think like with any good art, you, It'll, it allows you to project a lot. And I think that the ambiguity that was presented in the embodiment of JT sort of allowed for people to let him be the author that they imagined when they read the books. Um, everyone has a really distinct idea of like what the movie version of a book should be or who, who that person who wrote that song is. Like, I feel like I know them. So because nobody really ever knew JT because JT didn't exist, they were all at least engaged with this idea and they were engaged with the art and so as a performance art piece it was insanely genius and brilliant um, because it did come the writing did come from a really true place even if it was presented as a real story when it wasn't what is a real story it did you know there are aspects of that story in Laura Albert that couldn't be truer um, so yeah uh, I forgot where I was, but that's what the movie's about. <laughs> well, and it's and it's a beautiful question to add to that. You know, if we ask, would Laura Albert be right to say that if she had told her story as a 45-year-old woman from San Francisco about what happened to her in a group home and with her family and her mother, would that have made... Uh, not only the bestseller list in the way it did, but would it have moved people to want to protect, take care of, hear the shame of that story and the heartbreak of that story? Or were people more empathetic because of the, the character she invented? Mm. And, you know, do people listen more if it's a male writer? Do people listen more if it's... I, I mean, she was asking a lot of interesting questions. Yeah, I mean, and the answer to that is very objectively yes. Yeah. People, you know, maybe less and less now because we're working towards, you know, moving away from that. But for a long time, that is undeniably true that male, male created content is vastly consumed now you, versus you, women. You had uh, Savannah on set, of course. She co wrote and produced the movie. What was it like to kind of have to embody Savannah and JT while she's there? Yeah. Well, in getting to know, because I read the script, watched the docs, the documentaries about this, mm -hmm. and then I started t talking to Savannah, read her memoir, spent a lot of time with her, and so I could do an impression of JT because I had seen all the footage and I had been on YouTube and seen pictures and stuff, but Savannah, as Savannah, is such a completely different human being. Um, she's not insecure she's not like weird and t and riddled with ticks she's actually quite a steady person and like very open and her smile is really easy and so it was trippy for me because I'm like yeah there are there are your work she worked out so much of her kind of ugh, angst shame whatever in that character so I kind of relate to that too is like I I know that feeling of channeling certain energies or questions or sort of like strife into something else. And she talks about that having, like when she stopped playing JT, she felt like she was really losing, was, there was a, an immense feeling of loss because there wasn't that outlet anymore. And, but then she knew that she needed that outlet, so she found it in other places. So it did lead her to her art ultimately. Anyway, having both of them there was trippy and um, she uh, 
also is like one of the coolest, like nicest, most generous, open, uh -huh. present people. It's weird to think of her in such a crazy situation because she's so real, like very real. Yeah. After the movie, actually, I, the first thing I did was, of course, go online and just wa watch parts of documentaries that were made. And it's crazy how much you resemble Laura. It's just mm -hmm. like you got her down to the T. And she feels like such a wild card to play. Was that fun? So fun. <laughs> it was so fun and, and uh, freeing and crazy and troubling <laughs> and beautiful. Um, it's, uh, you know, that's a wild ride and it it was grounded in Savannah's generosity toward Laura and her depth of understanding at what she at the time and Laura shared mm -hmm. in terms of uh, sense of self, identity, shame, gender, all these questions uh, that they both were exploring and grappling with in very different ways but they had this love story and this communion through these questions mm -hmm. and trying to find themselves um, and so that was an amazing thing to explore because as fun a character as it is on the surface you know to I had to understand Laura and therefore did through Savannah's point of view um, to be able to have deep empathy for why she did what she did mm -hmm. so that it's not just a journey, a movie about a wild ride, but mm -hmm. in fact about what these women were walking through at the time. Mm -hmm. Well, we're wrapped, but I do have to say that honestly, I, I was full on.